is being celebrated across the country today and tomorrow. And while the Festival of Colour is all about having fun and games, it's taken an ugly turn in the capital with two young girls from Lady Shiram College and Jesus and Mary College having been hit by semen-filled balloons. As protests erupt in New Delhi against harassment and unruly behaviour towards women, here are five ways that you can stay safe this holy. Firstly, play with people who are familiar to you, friends and family. Remember, there is strength in numbers and you can reduce the chances of being troubled if you are surrounded by people who are there to defend you immediately. Also, stay close to them because once you have colour on your face, it can get a bit hard to recognise your friends and family. Remember, you want to be around people who can come quickly to your aid, quickly to defend you if anything untoward were to happen. Secondly, create a noise if you're being troubled. Say a firm no if anyone is getting over familiar with you and shout for help if you need so that people can come and protect you. If someone has attacked you or is troubling you from a car or a moving vehicle, take the car's number down and dial 100 for police assistance. You can also call your local women's helpline number. The number in Delhi is 1091 and in Mumbai is 103. Get your local women's helpline number, save it on your phone so that you can make a call immediately if anything were to happen. Thirdly, stay hydrated and keep your wits about yourself. If you're drinking alcohol, make sure you have one glass of water after every one glass of alcohol. If you're going to a party where you don't know anyone or it's a potentially unsafe space, do not drink at all. As for food, double check where it is coming from because it could be spiked or it could have intoxicants in it. If you get hungry often, have a full meal before you leave your house and double, double, double check what you're eating when you're at a party. Fourthly, figure out your drive to and from the venue well in advance. Try and travel in large numbers and do not go home in a car where the driver is intoxicated. You are better off waiting for somebody who is sober or for a driver to drop you home than go with someone who is drunk. Also, if your designated driver wants to leave early, leave with them so that you can get home safe rather than being stranded later on. And lastly, dress appropriately. This means that you wear the clothes according to the audience of the place or the party you're going to. It could be kurta pajamas or a t-shirt with shorts, but it should work for the people and the place. Another thing is to wear the correct lingerie and you can even carry a change of clothes to avoid stairs on your way back to your home.